Hey everyone, this is Zach, and here today we are going to cover something different. Now, I was able to pick up two things that I got at a really good price, and I thought I wanted to share how I got those, so maybe you could snag a chance to grab those as well. So the first thing I grabbed is I grabbed a 2DS Electric Blue, and I was able to grab this at a pretty good price. We'll talk about that in a bit. And I was also able to grab a copy of Pokemon Platinum. Now this is hard to find, especially case in box. And it's, it's a little bit of an asterisk, but we're going to talk about this as well. And I just want to hear what you guys think about it in the comments down below. Now, if you look up the Amazon price for this DS, and if you look up the eBay prices, for a copy of Platinum Authentic in box, you're spending about $200 a piece. The reason why the DSs have kicked up so much is because they have been discontinued. You can't buy them in stores anymore. So basically, your only hope is to buy a secondhand version of it or buy a new one from a reseller on things like Amazon or eBay. And with Pokemon Platinum, this game has been out of production for quite a long time but i was able to grab this for about 30 bucks and this for about 50 bucks so i paid 80 bucks in total for something that if you bought full if you bought now would cost you around i don't know like 300 400 dollars so how did i do that so the first one is the 2DS, and the 2DS is authentic. I was actually able to get this through the Nintendo Refurbished store by getting an update from Nintendeals. Now, Nintendeals is a Twitter account that talks about uh, Switch games and DS games on sale, and they've also recently been tweeting when Pokemon cards go on places like Amazon and in stores. So if you want to get a deal on switch games or maybe even ds games or maybe even refurbished consoles or find out when pokemon cards are actually being stocked online you want to follow them i'll have a link in the description but they've been really helpful and when they tweeted this out i've been watching the ds prices because i knew they were discontinued and i wanted to pick another one up just in case one of the ds's i have now decides to crap out so I picked up this for 50 bucks and it was well worth it because like I said, on Amazon, this is going for about 200, $220. And the 200 price is just refurbished. If you pay an extra 20 to $30, you might get it new with a game. Now, the iffy one here is Pokemon Platinum. Now, notice how I said the price for an authentic game on eBay is going for anywhere between $90 to $200 uh, as the last sold prices. But this right here is a reproduction. And from the looks of it, it looks pretty good. We're going to take a deeper look at this reproduction, open it up, and see exactly what it comes with. But I was able to pick this up for $30. Bucks. So... When it came to getting a reproduction version for $30 versus paying uh, up to anywhere between $100 to $200 for full price, I kind of, I'm okay with the reproduction. Let me know how you feel about it in the comments down below when you are trying to fill up your old DS game, Pokemon game collection, are you okay with reproductions? This one seems like a pretty good quality, but I will open it up and we will judge from there. And I'm not going to link it, but I did get it from, let's say, uh, a website that deals with more like artsy stuff. It wasn't one of the reproductions that you might find on Amazon or eBay. So I'm not going to link it, but if you wanted to look for it, you can go ahead and look for it. This is sealed and it is a reproduction, but we are going to jump into it. We're going to see whether this game works or not and open it up and compare it kind of to uh, my copy of Diamond I have that I picked up before the Pokemon Boom in box with the booklets for $25. Keep that in mind. I paid $25 for this about two months before everything Pokemon went crazy. And I'm glad I did because 
getting these games now, especially with the boxes, is super hard. So we're going to see how the reproduction stands up. And like I said, if you guys enjoy this, do not forget to like and subscribe. But anyways, let's take a look at this box and the contents inside. Okay, so here I have my copies of Diamond. This one is official and this one is a reproduction. So a couple things I noticed right off the bat is the Nintendo logo is not the red and white. So I wonder if that is a reproduction or maybe differences in the cases. Because one thing I have noticed, if you look at the back, the, the platinum copy does have multiple languages on it. And it's because if you check here, this is actually a reproduction of the Canadian version. So that's why there is one, there is English and French on here. So let's open this up and see how it stands up to an official copy and hopefully it actually plays inside. So if this was a legit copy, I'd be removing a whole lot of value by opening this up but we don't have to worry about that and one thing i noticed is that the foil goes over past onto the nintendo white border but we open it up we get all of our ds booklets and we get an instruction booklet So good quality pages, solid color. So this looks like pretty, a, a pretty good copy. The color seems maybe a little washed out, but I don't know. But anyways, we'll get all that stuff back in. And let's take a look at the copy itself. So it does feel a little more loose and a little lighter than I noticed. Let's see. Actually, this one might be a little heavier, but it feels like it feels more hollow. As you can see, it looks it looks pretty legit, and I believe that these are old cartridges of different games that are reloaded with with new ones, more ideal games. So now we are going to test it out to see if it works. Hopefully, it does. Right now, I have. My gold version suspended. I had silver and crystal on my regular account. So I decided to pick up gold so I could trade it over. And also so I could catch another red Gyarados and do the Mew glitch to get uh, an easier time of getting shinies in Gen 2 through breeding. You always got to double save. Okay, so we'll go ahead and close this out. My copy of Omega Ruby is in here. I kind of want to do a shiny lock of that. I've, I've been going for Trico, but I've only done like maybe like 10 resets. So, okay. So it reads as platinum. We'll boot it up and see how it looks. That might be a little too loud. Okay, and the game is starting out. So, so far, I mean, for 30 bucks to pick up a reproduction of Platinum, I do not mind this at all. But let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. Would you be okay with picking up a reproduction version if you are missing the original? 
And if so, what game would you pick up? Because I know that different people have been missing different games over time. Uh, Gen 4 is definitely one of the ones that have escaped me. So I think for Pearl, I probably might pick up another reproduction from the same person as well. Because this is a pretty good copy. But I hope you guys enjoyed this. If you want a follow-up to whether this works with the bank transfer or if it works with trading between an authentic copy like Diamond here, let me know in the comments down below. And if you guys enjoyed this, don't forget to like and subscribe. But anyways, this was just a quick video of how I was able to get this DS and a copy of Pokemon Platinum for really cheap. I thought it was something... That would make a decently cool video, but until next time, we'll see everyone later. I'm going to start playing this now. No info needed. Who should I go for my starter? Let me know in the comments down below.